For better understanding, we have labeled the structure plates as shown in the image. In the following video, we will refer to these plates by their respective labels. Attach a plate B to one side of plate A using M3 by 6 screws. Similarly, attach another plate B to the other side of plate A. Secure plate C and plate D together using an M3 by 10 screw, a metal washer and a self-locking nut You will need to use a cross wrench and a screwdriver to tighten the self-locking nut and the screw. Now for an important step. You'll need to slightly loosen the structure you just tightened to allow them to rotate freely. Using the same method, secure another set of plate C and plate D. Note that the two plate C short plates should be facing each other. Again, loosen the structure slightly to allow free rotation. Now secure the assembled plate C and plate D to the side. Using an M3 by 25 screw, a metal washer, and a self-locking nut, Once again, loosen the structure a bit to enable free rotation. Using the same method, attach another set to the other side. Now assemble the linkage. Secure plate D above the body using an M3 by 10 screw, a metal washer, and a self-locking nut. After tightening, slightly loosen it again. Connect the structural plates using an M3 by 10 screw, a metal washer, and a self-locking nut. This also needs to be loose enough for free movement, so slightly loosen it. Using the same method, connect the structural plates on the other side. Then slightly loosen it to allow free movement. Secure a plate F to the front end of plate D, using a self-locking nut, two acrylic washers, and an M3 by 14 screw. Note that the bent part of plate F should face inward. 
Afterwards, loosen it slightly to allow play to have to rotate freely. Follow the same procedure to secure another play dab. After tightening, loosen it a bit again.